Hey guys, Melissa here. In this video, I want to show you how I wrap this heart in one single wire. So if you want to see how I did this, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. All right guys, let's get started. So I have this heart. I got this in Gardner, Montana on our trip to Yellowstone a few years ago, and I haven't done anything with it. So I'm excited to finally do something with this stone. It's crystal quartz, and I think I'm gonna just do some, like a cold forge wrap on it, but it's see-through, so I gotta keep in mind that I'm gonna see the wires in the back. So let's see what I come up with here. I grabbed some fine silver 14 gauge, and it's dead soft. I'm gonna cut off about 12 inches. I think that would be good. So that's 12 inches. What I usually do first is I make my bail. And for that, I hammer out a few inches on the end. This end is a little wonky. Let me get it straight at least. I'm gonna start hammering out about three, I would say that's about three inches of my bail. And then once I flatten it out, I'm gonna wind it up. Oh, before I start, let me tell you that all the materials and tools are all listed down in the description. So if you want to check that out, it's all down there. I always flip them back and forth while I'm hammering. starts curving, I, I put it on its side and kind of hammer the curve so it straightens out just gently. I'm just comparing the width of the bale, what the bale would be to the stone. I think I do want to texture this. Just want to smooth out that end a little bit with my file. All right, once you're satisfied, you can make your bale. All right, so I gotta keep in mind that I can see the wire from the front. I'm gonna angle it to the side here. Bring it around the front. Yeah, I'm gonna bring it around the front, but I wanna hammer it a little more, probably up to there. Make sure my wire is nice and smooth and curved. I'm gonna do it on the edge of the table here. Use my nylon jaw pliers to kind of shape it. And see, as 
soon as I start hammering it, it gets really tough to work with, which is good because you want it to be sturdy. flatten this, hammer this again. Okay, let's see where this gets us. this angle I want this to be flat against the stone so let's see what we can do here put an angle on that bring it around that looks better make this angle a little better wrap around that stone Just wrap around ever so slightly. Where would I want to cut this? I'm going to cut this end at a little bit of an angle. So I want that end to taper. Let's take the stone out. Really get some curved metal to hammer on. the heart back in and see how it looks. I took the stone out because I want this flat edge to be tilted. So I took it out and I'm going to use my nylon jaws to kind of turn it outward because these are kind of flat going the other way.
I also want the same curve as this one, kind of. Let's see if I can achieve that. Digging that. Tighten up this bale, see if that helps to tighten everything up. Cool. Okay, now we're good and secure. I'm gonna polish this thing up. Here we have it. It's all polished up. I decided not to oxidize it because I didn't want the underside or the back side of these wires to be black. And then you see black wires from the front. So I figured I'd just keep it just bright silver. So that's it for me, guys. Feel free to leave me a comment to let me know what you think. If you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And happy Valentine's Day, and I'll see you in the next one.